Hey guys, how you doing? It's Bernardo Scaboza. I'm out here at Bladecraft Barbershop uh, here at the Derby Club, The Shop, which is also a restaurant. And so this is going to be one of the first ones in a series that I'm going to call Cribs and Clips, where I will be with a local barber in the community, kind of highlighting them and also showing them a couple of the houses that we have, uh, getting their intake on it and just kind of giving it a new spin. So guys, uh, follow me as I show you all this awesome place. Uh, called the Derby out here in Dallas, Texas. If you're looking for a home, we got you covered. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm still out here at Derby Cuts, as you can see, well, with my boy Terrain. What's up? Good morning. And uh, as y'all just heard me just a second ago, we're doing this new thing called Cribs and Clips. And uh, this is a fantastic uh, barber shop out here at the Derby sh the shop. Uh, they have a cool restaurant in there. We probably might take a little look at it. But as you can see, they have a lot of cool stuff in the back, uh, mostly cars. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, definitely. This is like a uh, country club uh, for cars. So if you're a car enthusiast, uh, you like to hang out with your friends, have a bite to eat, maybe groom yourself a little bit before a night out or a day out in the town, this is a great location for that. We've got a pool and a cigar area for you to smoke and just awesome uh, interior for you to see with uh, eclectic styles of bikes and cars, everything from a Chevy all the way up to a Ventador Lamborghini. Bentley's and everything is in here. So uh, we are here to just um, provide luxury service to the common uh, person who wants to just enjoy the date for themselves. So that's what we're here for. Well, that's awesome. As y'all hear it, man, that's that's just uh, amazing. It's a cool little spin on what they have going on here. And uh, I'm excited to get a, a fresh cut here. Uh, we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now and just uh, finally got my, my butt in here. Um, so guys, we're also going to be showing my boy Terrain the house here in a little bit. He's going to take uh, a couple of, uh, I guess, uh, his opinions on it, what he, he thinks he likes about it. And also, uh, you're thinking about becoming a realtor here soon, right? Exactly. Yes. So it'll be cool to get his insight of what he thinks about this house. One of our listeners out in the Austin area. And uh, we'll have more here in a second. What would you call the haircut that you're giving me here? Yep, so this is called a high fade. Um, with, uh, it's called open, a machine open on the side. So basically what, it, what we're doing is it's not all the way skin down to your scalp, but it's enough hair where it's a nice little shadow around the sides and then uh, at your temple area, that's where we transition the fade. Okay, so hey guys, anybody else uh, who's gonna be hair cutting my hair, y'all gotta listen to this guy because he's the first one to actually explain what he's doing to my hair. <laughs> I never know what I'm getting. So yeah, for sure, I appreciate that. Yep, so it's called a mid fade. So that's what we call a mid fade? Yes, sir. Okay. How long have you been cutting hair? I uh, started in 2019. I've always been lining up my own hair at home and maybe doing some short haircuts here or there, but never, you know, taking on my friends or family <laughs> with a haircut until 2019. I really started doing that. So, uh, it's, uh, pretty, it's been pretty fun because it's something I always wanted to do. I've admired barbers uh, all throughout my life and what they provide to the well-being of an individual as they go throughout their day. And I realized that barbering um, is not only just a haircut, it's really psychological sometimes because you sometimes become a therapist for the individuals that are here and for yourself because there's a lot that you can learn from individuals that sit in your chair. So it's a great place to be every day. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So what's your favorite car here? Uh, that uh, 
pearl colored event today. That is sexy. Yeah. Uh, I just always had a thing for Lamborghinis. Uh, with the Aventador, I saw it in black with like red, uh, red stripes. Mm -hmm. And it just really just did something for me. So, <laughs> kind of stuck with that car since I've seen it. They have a one of a kind Bugatti here, right? Okay. I think that's one of them. just because it's like unique, and since it's one of a kind, you know, they don't have any anywhere else. You know, we, we got the only one here. That's that's pretty cool. Where's that looking? Right, right back there. It should be behind that orange truck over there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's like a blue one. Yeah. Have you walked this place yet? Yes. But they're always getting new uh, consignments in, so I don't, sometimes I don't know. They keep moving the cars around a lot. That's good for tourists too. You never see the same thing all the time. All right, Terrain, so we're going to get to my favorite part of the thing. And uh, I'm going to show you one of my listings that I have out here in Austin. Okay. And I just uh, would love to get your insight on uh, what you're seeing here and what your just uh, opinion is about this, this gorgeous home that we have over here. Uh, so these homes are out here in the Austin area. Uh, we service out there as well. I know we're out here in Dallas right now. Uh, so we're just all over Texas and that's a cool thing. Um, but this is one of the ones out here in the Great Hills Country Club area. That's right next to a country club. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of, of this home. So this is gonna be the front side of the home, right? Uh, it's a detached condo. Um, this one right here is a two story. As you can see, well, you can't really see, but it actually drops into the hill behind it as well. Okay. So. Yeah, I love the driveway. Um, the, the texture of uh, creating some type of artwork in the driveway. It's not just a plain looking driveway. It, uh, it's very inviting, the way that the tones and the colors that are chosen for the um, uh, outside look of the home. I like the, the, that version. I love it too. I love it for sure. So we're gonna see the, the corner of this home as well. As you can see, I mean, there's a lot of greenery. They're gonna put a house right next to it. Uh, so you can see they're on top of a hill. And so they have pretty good um, views of the country club and as well as of the green green areas around it. Yes, and it looks well manicured as well. So uh, definitely great landscape around it. Uh, opportunity to uh, envision yourself um, walking out of your backyard and just really enjoying the oasis uh, for the environment. I love it. I love how you you, you kind of put those words together. Uh, so this is going to be the back side of it. Uh, it has a little like a covered patio. Sure. Yeah. Uh, both on the bottom floor and on the top floor. Again, this is a two-story one. Okay. We have a three-story one as well. So each one of them has their separate like outdoor little area as you can see right there. That's great. Um, it's keeping the family... Um, you know, involved in the thought process of having a location where you can go out and have peace of mind. Uh, generally, some of the patios in the back uh, don't really have the cover uh, tops that they need, so it's good to see that there's some shade here for someone to enjoy their coffee or hot chocolate or whatever it may be in the morning uh, to get their day started. Yeah, that coffee in the morning is really a, a, a day starter for me, so that, that definitely hits uh, hard. Uh, we're looking at here at this uh, beautiful kitchen. What do you got to say about this uh, awesome kitchen? Yeah, I love the um, the island. It looks like a California style island. Um, very huge, two tone colors. I uh, love the range over top of it. Um, a lot of times you don't see the uh, range and the oven in the island. Uh, so this allows the individual to uh, cook in front of their family almost as if a chef-like uh, experience. So it's a great take uh, providing more space for them to operate as well as having the cabinetry and the sunlight that's coming in from all directions. Yeah, I love, I love all the windows in there. Honestly, there's a lot of natural light in there. Yes. Uh, as you can see, like you said, kind of like a little hibachi experience in your, exactly. in your home, right? So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're walking into the living room of this uh, area. Um, you can see we still have that big old window in the back and an amazing uh, fireplace in, in, in the house. That's going to be a faux fireplace. Okay. It's actually an electric fireplace. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what do you think about this? Yeah, uh, it's to the liking of the person who's buying it. Um, some people like wood fireplaces, but I like the faux fireplace because there's no mess. 
uh, you achieve the same experience. You're looking for the look, you're looking for the feel. Uh, so it provides that. Um, the sunlight is provided into the living room. So a lot of people like light, but then when the lights go down or the sun sets, you've got a cozy environment where you can enjoy your family in that area. Hey, well, just letting you know, just uh, from talking about these pictures, uh, you get into real estate. I, I think you're doing a great job, <laughs> right? I love it. I love how you just kind of uh, explain these pictures. Um, this is going to be the little dining room area that they have uh, on the side of it. You got a little maybe a breakfast nook because you have that huge yes. island that you could have as a dining room already, right? Right. Uh, what can you say about this? Yeah, this is, um, again, more light in this area, natural lighting. Uh, where you can kind of wake, wake up to the sunlight without a lot of the bright uh, lights of and burning up your electricity bill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is just great to have natural lighting. You can pull the, cu the uh, curtains back and just enjoy the morning experience. Uh, it's a great uh, size. It's not really too tight, uh, but it's not uh, overly unused space. So I think it's a good location. Love it. Love it. Again, you see here the appliances. Uh, you can kind of see the guy in the in the in the appliances right there. Yeah, it's like got you, a you double oven there. with the microwave. Uh, I love this theme of having gray with white uh, countertops. Also, the lighting underneath the cabinetry is perfect because it helps accentuate whatever's on the uh, cabinet. Generally, wine or coffee area. Um, so it's just a great way to take a dark. Uh, moodless area and create a mood for people to enjoy that experience man that i am definitely gonna have you talk about all my listings from now <laughs> on okay so let's walk into here yeah. so they have a couple of living spaces in this area this is gonna be one of the the living spaces uh you saw the living room in the bottom uh this is the loft on the top floor yes uh what can you say about this yeah it's definitely uh, from what i can tell it's a family oriented space more natural lighting because we have two window bays there uh, some uh, it's been um, decorated or staged properly I think I like the uh, neutralness of having some type of contemporary design to it but also a place where kids can have fun where they don't feel like anything they touch are going to break so it's just a great area for people to experience their family together and be comfortable all together for sure okay so again uh, on both floors uh, if you have three story on this type of unit you have three of these but uh, you can see they also have a patio area for that's right outside of that loft that you saw sure. right so this is on the top floor what well, any remarks yeah definitely uh this is pretty unique um because you don't see this in all homes to have that type of balcony on the third floor um and and basically i think what the what the thought process was is once again enjoy the experience of seeing what's in your backyard and what the pastures or golf club or whatever setting you're in they want you to pay attention to that area and just relax and enjoy the setting so uh, i think it captures the moment uh this is a studio well this is one of the office areas they actually have uh, this one's a three bedroom three bath okay. and uh this is going to be one of the, but it also has a studio so you could say it's a four bedroom uh three bath right okay um uh, what can you say about a little office space yeah i like it it's a nice flex room you can uh you, you have the ability to convert this room however way you want. It's great because the, in this office space, um, everything is just not compounded on each other. Uh, there's room to maneuver. And then if you have family that come by, you can you know convert this room if necessary uh, to uh, overnight living quarters as well. So it's just really good um, use of space. Still more natural lighting with the double pane windows um, and just a great setting, nice fan, um, floors are nice. They just prepared this home properly. Are you sure you've never talked about a house like this before? No, no, okay, I just watch okay. HGTV every night. Uh, HGTV, <laughs> okay, it, it really works. Okay, some of us need to watch HGTV a little bit more, <laughs> uh, myself included. Hey, so you can see, um, we looked at the loft, right, where we were at earlier, that family space. Uh, that's that door that goes out to that patio, uh, yeah. uncovered patio. Yeah. Um, Again, very, very awesome space, just like you said, just to kind of like have a little game place where they can play around and stuff like that. Yeah, so. definitely. Uh, you've got updated lighting throughout. Uh, well, uh, it's an open space area, so it's not like compartmentalized, but knowing that this is just a dedicated room uh, as far as a lot of there's room to play or manage or just enjoy each other and uh, just create an open environment. Um, once again, as I've, uh, you know, 
talked about multiple times, there's plenty of lighting in here to just use natural light throughout the day. So it's a well lit area and enough space for someone to enjoy this loft area. No, definitely. Like you said, uh, definitely helps with that energy bill where you can just turn off all the lights and just keep the, the light from the outside. Uh, another little uh, picture of that that same room. I would definitely maybe even put a theater, like maybe one of those little like uh, overhead projectors yeah, type sure. stuff, right? Yeah. On that, maybe like a little movie room. Yeah, you on can there. use some uh, blackout curtains and uh, throw up a projector. And you right now they're showing a uh, you know LED TV um, at whatever size, 60 inch or whatever. But as you can tell from the wall space, there's enough room to start from a 45 all the way up to a projector size screen uh, in that space. So it's a great location for you to convert it and make it your own. Yeah, and then, uh, definitely, like you said, we would definitely need a blackout uh, because of all the natural yeah. light in there. Definitely would need a blackout. Uh, walking in, this is one of the rooms, right? It's not the master bedroom, but it's uh, one of the guest rooms, I would say, right? Uh, it's huge, also like very uh, high ceilings. Um, uh, anything yeah, you want to add? Uh, definitely, you got the high ceilings, you've got the lights in the ceilings to uh, you know, provide appropriate lighting. A lot of times you see in homes, they have just the one light that's attached to the fan or just in that uh, space. Uh, you have more of a satellite look uh, in the lighting as well as, once again, natural lighting from the windows. So uh, it's a great um, place for someone to come and stay overnight and not feel cramped. Uh, there's a, you probably can't tell right now, but there's probably closet space, but right here, it's uh, enough room to maneuver around and enjoy the space and feel comfortable. So HGTV is what you said. That's, that's about it. That's, that's it. where that's I, gotta, I got it. Okay, that, that's, that's where I have to, okay, because I am definitely going to HGTV today and learning all this stuff. This is amazing. Hey, uh, so this is actually the bathroom that leads into from that room, okay. right? Again, this is not the master bedroom, sure. but they have this as, I guess, uh, well, I mean, you could consider it a master bedroom, right? Sure. It's a guest room is what they're using it as. Uh, they have that custom uh, bathroom with the custom finishes all throughout. Yep. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I like the, the sink area. It looks um, enough room to kind of manage yourself, have enough uh, cabinetry to store your things, especially if you're for an extended stay, you don't feel cramped and having to keep things in your bag. Uh, this um, shower and uh, water hole is a great location because there's um, not a small shower, it's a walk-in glass shower. So you just feel comfortable in the environment, almost like uh, Hotel Serenity. Hotel Serenity, man, I'm gonna use that. Okay, so this is another one just kind of uh, less yellow, right? But uh, it's still the same uh, place. There's actually a walk-in closet, probably the size of the room oh, around cool. here. Uh, another picture of the same room. And we're in, this is actually the bathroom in the master bedroom. Okay. So again, you can see like they have that walk-in tub right there. Yep. And it's right next to that vanity. You have that walk-in shower right there. Yeah, I like the his and her sinks. Um, the same style of cabinetry is throughout the home. Uh, I love the tile in this location. Uh, definitely love the standalone tub. This tub is just probably one of the things that are on our checklist to have that type of tub in our home. Um, most people either have either or this home has both a shower and a tub. So um, good space. It's not a small shower. It's definitely a place for you to stretch out. You can uh, really enjoy yourself in this bathroom. <laughs> Man, talk about enjoying yourself in that bathtub. I'm a big guy. You're about my size, man. I mean, it's hard to find a bathtub where you can just uh, relax in and not feel like you're over, like you're overly sized. For yes, that tub. yes. I mean, definitely, that's in my dream home. That's what, that's gonna be what I need. One of these big old tubs. Okay. That's a big highlight of this this place, right? Yep. Um, so. And and again, uh, for that last uh, shot. The windows, we got windows again, natural lighting, but also there's a pull down shade if you want to have some privacy. A lot of times you see around tubs, there's some type of uh, um, painted uh, glass where they cover privacy glass. And so for this one, you have a nice pull down shade so you don't miss the opportunity to enjoy natural lighting in that environment. Man, I love it. It's been a pleasure. Hey, like I said, it's been a pleasure, man. Uh, thank you for joining me on this, the first episode of clips cribs and clips yes. right and i think uh this is gonna be awesome i hope you have all the fun out there in georgia and uh i hope you become a really successful realtor I hope so. all right Thank man you. appreciate it uh again appreciate everything your insight on the stuff and glad to have you on the show yeah man so don't forget to think 
act and be. Enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. We will be posting one of these episodes each month as well as other great real estate content. Till next time, think, act, be.